a very good morning to all my dear students. Hope you all are studying for the online assessment. In our last lecture, students, we revised lesson number one of this page, where I explain to you what type of questions you can get for your online assessment. Today, we are going to do revision of lesson number two, that is India before the times of Shivaji Maharaj. Here, we will discuss different sets of questions and how it can be asked for your coming online assessment. So before we could start, I want each one of you to take your workbook because we are going to discuss with the workbook question and a rough notebook to write down what we are going to discuss, to write down how the questions can be asked for the online assessment. Giving you some time to get ready with your rough notebook, your workbook and pen or pencil. I hope you all are ready with your workbook. Now come to page number 14 of your workbook. Now this all we have already done and the answers of each one of these is given by me. So let's revise it once again. Now question number one on the screen and in your workbook is name the following. Right? I'll read that out for you as an revision. See, Queen of Gondwana. What was the answer? Rani Durgavati. Son of Uday Singh. The answer is Maharana Pratap. Founder of the Mughal dynasty. The answer is Babur. The first Sultan of Bahamani Kingdom. Hassan Gangu. The fighting force established by Guru Gobind Singh. The answer is Khalsa Dar. Sixth one. Capital of the Yadav dynasty. That is Devi. Was defeated in the second battle of Sarai. That is Prithiraj Chavan. And the eighth one. A slave who became a sultan. And the answer is Kuchukin Alta. Now, how you can get this question for your online assessment? Right? Now, Queen of Gondwana, Rani Durgavati. So, three options will be given. Right? So, with Rani Durgavati, Chand Bibi, and Razia, these options will be given. And you have to click on the right option. So, what you have to do here? You have to study this or name the following so that you can click on the right answer right on the next slide i have tried to put two questions so that you can get a clear idea how you are going to get such type of questions for your online assessment that is question number one name the following now see students on your screen Name the following, that is from question number one, I have taken first and the third one. Now see the first one, as I told you, Queen of Gondwana. So three options will be given, Rani Durgavati, Chan Bibi and Razia. So what is the correct answer? Yes, Rani Durgavati. So you are going to click on that answer. Right? Okay. Now see the next one that I have given. This is the third one in your workbook. Founder of the Mughal dynasty. So, the three options are given. Aurangzeb, Jahangir and Babur. Now, what is the correct answer here? The third one. That is Babur. So, you are going to click on that. And in this way, see you have a name the following. But you have to read the lesson too. Because it can be up from the lesson also. So many of these are already there in the workbook. So you will get such type of question. You can take a screenshot, you can write it down. That's why I told you that take a rough notebook with you. So you can write down such questions which we are discussing. Right? So write it down, take a screenshot, watch the video and write it and practice it for your experience. We 
now question number two. Find the odd one out. Now, in our last lecture two, I had discussed with you such questions and how they can be asked for your assessment. Right? Okay. Now, see the first one here. Sultan Mahmud, Kutubdin Aybak, Mohammad Guri and Babur. The correct answer is Babur. Because one was uh, Sultan, one was Governor, the others were Sultan. So the odd man out here is Babur because he was an Mughal Emperor. So we have discussed all these things. Now how you are going to take it, find the odd one out, right? So you are going to take the name of the two Sultans and one Mughal Emperor. Who is the odd man out there? The Mughal Emperor that is Babur. So you are going to pick on that. And for this also students, you have to study, right? You have to study and then only you are going to get the right option and the correct answer for it. See, in the same way, you have two more on the screen. That is Adil Shai, Nizam Shai, Sultanat and Barik Shai. So what is all men out here? The answer is there, that is Sultanat. And the third one, that is Akbar, Humayun. Shaha and Aurangzeb. So the other three were related to the Mughal emperor and one who was from the Su dynasty. So that is the odd man out. So study it in this way. Understand the question so that you can get the answer. Right? So this also we have discussed in our last lecture how you are going to get the question. So study it in that way. So we have revised question number two once again. Now see, come to question number three. And what is the question there? Complete the timeline. So there will be a little bit of confusion in your mind. How this can be asked? Yes, student. So I am going to explain that to you. How such type of questions can be asked for your exam. Now look at the first one. What they have asked here? That is, they have given both here, foundation of Vijayanagar kingdom in your workbook. And they have given the year. Right? So, in the question, you can get the year 1336 CE. And below you will be given the option, foundation of Vijayanagar kingdom, foundation of the Bahamani kingdom, foundation of the Mughal emperor. So, you are going to click on the right answer. Right? And what will be that answer? Foundation of Vijayanagar Kingdom. Otherwise, you will be given the question like that. Foundation of Vijayanagar Kingdom and you will be given options in years. Right? So, it can be 1336 Common Era, that is CE, 1338 CE or 1340 CE. Right? So, here you are going to click on the right year. I hope you understood that. Moving on to the second one. So they have asked you foundation of the Bahamani kingdom. Right? So they can ask for the year. That is 1347 CE. It can be asked in this way. Or foundation of the Bahamani kingdom. And then the years can be given. So what is very important here? Knowing and studying. That is foundation of Vijayanagar kingdom. In which year? Right? And foundation of Bahamani kingdom in this year. Right? Okay? Then see the third one again. They have given the year. And they have told you that in this year, right, what special event have taken place. So, what is that? What is the answer given? Krishna Devaraya ascended the throne of Vijayanagar. Right? Or Krishna Devaraya ascended the throne of Vijayanagar and the years will be given. You have to pick on the correct year that is 1509 CE. And the last one that is foundation of the mobile car. Right? Again, the year, you have to remember the year and then only you can click at the right option and get your marks. Right? So in this way, the question will be asked. Now we'll move on to the second timeline. See, in the second one too, 
that is complete the timeline. The first they have asked for foundation of the Delhi Sultanate and you had to write the year. Otherwise, the year will be given and you have to write in that year that is in the foundation of Delhi Sultanate. So, you have to click on the right option. Right? Then, the second one, end of the Delhi Sultanate. So, here also they have told you to write down the year. Otherwise, the year will be given and they will give you end of Delhi Sultanate or end of, you can say, the Mughal Emperor. So, in that way, you are going to click at the option. Now, see the third one here. Humayun succeeded Babur in which year? So, 1530 common era. And the last one. So, they can give you 1707, 1710, 1715 CE and then date of Aurangzeb. So, you are going to click at the right year when the date, when was the date of Aurangzeb. So, in this way, you have here altogether, if you are going to count eight such type of questions from which the questions can be asked. So, students again requesting you to study the event that have taken place in that year and the dates, right? Remember the dates. Oh. Now, we'll come to question number four. Select the appropriate alternative, right? So, this is a clear question wherein you can get the question and there are four options for that. So, you are going to select or click on the right option or the appropriate alternative, right? So, we will revise it one by one. Which was the famous dynasty in Bengal during the 8th century? And the options that were, are given here, Koshal, B. Parmar, C. Chola and B. Par. Right? And what is the correct answer students here? Yes, the B one that is Par. So, you are going to click on that. And for all this, what is very important for you to know which was the famous dynasty in Bengal. So, if you know the answer, you are going to click it quickly because you have to remember that is there is time limit of how, how much 30 minutes. In that 30 minutes, you have to complete your paper. Now, second one is which of the following is not a Rajput dynasty? And see the options there Gadwal, Rastakuta, Parmar, and Chauhan. So, what is the correct answer for this? Yes, the B1 that is Rastakuta. Now, moving on to the third one. Whom did Prithviraj Chauhan defeat in the first battle of Sarai? That is on the next slide. I repeat. Whom did Prithviraj Chauhan defeat in the first battle of Sarai? And see the options there. Sultan Mahmud. B1 is Muhammad Tughlaq. C. Ibrahim Lodi. And B. Mohammed Guri. And what is the correct answer? Yes, that is the D1. That is Mohammed Guri. So you are going to click on that. Coming to the fourth one, which Koshal king brought the whole of Karnataka under his rule? The options are Vishnu Vardhan, Raja Rajpur, Billam Pit, and Harihar. And the answer for this. You know it because you have already done, you have already marked there. So, what is the answer here? Vishnu Vardhan. Right? Moving on to the fifth one now. The navy of ruler of which royal dynasty conquered Maldiv Islands and Sri Lanka? And the options on the screen and even in your book are that is Shilahar, Chola. Rastakuta and Yadav. Right? And the correct answer for this is that is the Chola dynasty. Now moving on to the next one, that is the sixth one. In which battle did Babur defeat Rana Sangha? So the options are 
First Battle of Panipur, Battle of Kanwa, Second Battle of Panipur, First Battle of Tarai. The answer for this is Battle of Kanwa. I told you, your students, that you have to read the lesson too. Now, see here. The first battle of Panipat. So, you are going to get the years here. Right? Like 1526 and then 1530, 1545. Even the battle of Kanwa. So, read the lesson. So, this option or objective type, MCQ type of question, such questions can be asked too. Now we will move on to the last one and this, that is the seventh one of question number four. Now see the seventh one and the last one here. Who led the Ahoms in their guerrilla warfare against the Mughals? And the options are Lachit, Borbukan, Gadadar Siha, Shivaji Maharaj and Durgadar Rathor. And the correct answer for this is Lachit Borbukan. Right students? Now you must have understood. Now this is, was a direct question wherein you have to select the appropriate alternative. So the alternatives were given for all the seven and we have discussed this is a revision and seeing the correct answers for all the seven questions. Now students come to question number five and what is that question? Complete the following table. Now, how are you going to study this for your exam that I will discuss with you all? Pay attention students. Now see the first one. What I have asked for? Political power. Now Vijayanagar, Bahamani, Mughal, Nizam Shai and Yadav. The second column is founders or rulers. And the third one is capital. So, now if the question is asked, the question can be asked in this way. Political power, Vijayanagar, and you will have to pick at the correct founder. Okay, so here you will get the options. Like, for example, see on your screen it is there, and I'm going to read it out from there only. Harir and Bukka, Hasan Gangu, and Babur. Okay, so three options will be given. So you have to click at the correct option. That is the founder of Vijayanagar kingdom. So at what you are going to click at? Harir and Bukka. Okay. Or in the same way, it will be asked for the capital. Right. Political power. That is Vijayanagar and its capital. Now for capital, again, see on the screen. They will give you three options. And what will be these three options? Hampi. Gulburga and Delhi. So, you are going to click at the right option that is Hampi. Hampi was the capital of Vijayanagar kingdom. Is it clear? Now, one more we are going to look at. Now, Bahamani kingdom. Now, who was the founder? So, there will be three options Hasan Gangu, Babur, Chan Bibi. And you are going to click at the right option that is Hasan Gangu. Okay. Now Bahamani Kingdom. Capital. So here again three options will be given. Gulburga, Delhi, Ahmednagar. So you are going to click at the right one that is Gulburga. Come on. We will take one more. That is the Mughal power. So here you are going to get up options like that. That is Babur, Chan Bibi, Aurangzeb. Okay. So you are going to click at that one. Now the capital of Mughal power was Delhi. So you will get options here that is Delhi, Ahmednagar, Devgiri. So you are going to click here at the right option. Okay. Right. So you are going to get the questions in this way. So studying of don't neglect. Studying of this question. Understanding the question that you are going to get is very important. Right? I hope you have understood what type of question for question number 5, complete the following table can be asked in your exam.
that is online assessment. Now question number 6. Complete the following diagram. Now here what I have asked for? Fragments of Bahamani Kingdom. And what is the answer that you have written? It is there on the screen too. Barikshai of Bidar, Imachai of Bharat, Adilshai of Bichapur, Nizam Shahi of Ahmednagar and Kutub Shahi of Kolkonda. Now three options will be given here also and one option, two options are going to be wrong and one option is going to be correct. Now if I discuss this like in this way that is Adil Shahi of Bichapur, Virat Shahi of Varad or Imad Shahi of Ahmednagar. So, you are going to click on the right option, right? Mixed match, it will be, the names will be, you are going to see mixed match with the other uh, kingdoms and one will be correct. So, you are going to click on that and get the correct answer. Right, students? Okay. Now, we will move on to the next one, that is the second one in this. Again, it is. Uh, complete the following diagram and the question that is asked here is Temple looted by Mahmud Ghazni and the four right answers are there there that is uh, Mathura, Vrindavan, Kanoj and Somnath. Okay, now here also the options will be given. Two will be wrong and uh, the names of other two temples will be given. And one will be correct, that is Mathura will be given, or Vrindavan will be given, or Kanoj will be given, or Somnath will be given. Right? And then you have to click, that is temple looted by Mom, that is Mahmud Ghazni. Okay? So, you will click at the right option. Now here, see we have completed with all the objective type of question, that is from question number 1. Name the following. Question number 2, find the odd man out. Question number 3, complete the timeline. Question number 4, select the appropriate alternative. And question number 5, complete the following table and complete the following diagram that is question number 6. So, we will be thinking that our teacher is all explaining and discussing with the objective type questions. So, we will get it from here only. It is not so student. So, on your screen now you are going to get question number 7 and here again I am going to discuss that from this question 2, the MCQ types of questions can be asked. So, now question number 7 and it is answer the following in brief. See the first question there. How did the kingdoms of Vijayanagar and the Bahamani emerge? Now, the answer is there on the screen too. During the reign of Sultan Mahmud bin Tughlaq of Delhi, there were many revolts in the south against the central power of Delhi. From this revolt arose the formidable Vijayanagar and Bahamani kingdom. Now, the question that can be asked here, during whose reign, there were many revolts in south against the central power of Delhi. Once again, I am repeating. During whose reign, there were many revolts in the south against the central power of Delhi. And you are going to get the options here. Sultan Mahmud bin Tughlaq or Mahmud Gawan or the third option. Right? So, you will get these options in this way and you have to write and click sorry you will have to click at the correct option are you getting me students yes so then reading and understanding these answers are also very important okay so the first one i told you what type of question can be asked now moving on to the second question what reform did Mahmud Gawan make? Now this answer is also there on the 
three, Mahmud Gawan started paying the soldiers the salaries in cash instead of through land grants. He brought discipline in the army. He introduced many reforms in the land revenue system. He opened a madrasa at Bidar for Arabic and Persian studies. Okay, now from this, two questions can be asked. Now, the first one that is, who introduced many reforms in the land revenue system? So, the options will be given Mehmud bin Tukluk or Mehmud Gawan, or you are going to see. That is, you can get the next option that is Aurangzeb, etc. So, you are going to click at the right option. This can be the first one and the second. Who opened a madrasa at Bidar for Arabic and Persian studies? Okay, a madrasa opened at Bidar for Arabic and Persian studies. Right? So, who did that? That was again Mehmud Gawan. Right? So, the options will be given. Three options will be given. And based on that, if you are knowing the correct answer, you are going to click on the answer. Right? So, not only the objectives that are there in the lesson, that is the objective type question, but you are going to read this. So, you can get MCQ questions from these questions too. Right? So, I hope you have understood now how you, you are going to prepare yourself for your online assessment. Right, students? Now, today, as a revision, we have discussed and done the revision of lesson number 2 with what type of question can be asked for your online assessment. I hope you are going to do the revision and get prepared yourself for the online exam. So, this is all for today's students. In our next lecture, we will discuss the question and answers in the same way of lesson number one of civics. Till then, study yourself for the coming exam. Thank you.